Today we're going to learn how to use coveralls in cold weather. I'm going to tuck my jeans into my rubber boots and I'm wearing a down parka and a shirt underneath. I don't want to get dirty. These are nice clothes so I'm going to use some coveralls. These coveralls are very loose fitting. They're, most people would think they're too big but I like them this way because I can wear them over top of other clothes like a parka and then I have insulated coveralls now my parka will not get dirty this is very convenient it just takes a couple of seconds to put some coveralls on and then you, you can use basically any type of clothes underneath and they won't get dirty coveralls are great now I'm uh, now I essentially have an insulated set of coveralls just because I'm layering and I have a down parka underneath I'm going to put some wear some leather welding gloves I like them for working outside they also protect your wrists and the coveralls go outside the boots the jeans go inside the boots and the coveralls go outside the boots now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use some army surplus clothing and layer it over top of the coveralls for added warmth and protection from the dirt. This is a US military woodland camo BDU shirt. BDU stands for battle dress uniform and it's basically recycled clothing. So you can sometimes get these for really cheap or you can find something comparable wherever you live. And I think these are usually used in warm weather, but if you get a big loose one, they can work pretty well in cold weather too. You just wear it over top of the coveralls. And then you get a, a layered effect with, with your clothing, so it begins to form a warm air bubble. The layered clothes form a warm air bubble around your body, and this is exactly what you want when you're working outside. These clothes are also, you can move around in them really well, and the material is really tough and hard wearing. So it, it seems to work quite well. Now I have the option of flipping up all the collars to keep my neck warm, or I can flip them down and then it looks better. It depends on what you want. There's a lot of collars and they will keep your neck warm. This uh, BDU shirt has a lot of pockets which you can use to put your tools in. It works well. Now I can do the same thing again, and this time I can leave the, the parka hood attached to the parka. So now I have a parka hood, and this works well too. Now I can use this hood to keep my head warm when I'm working outside. There's lots of different variations, and I can put the BDU shirt on top. Again, it's a big loose shirt and it has buttons, which is nice because you can fix buttons pretty easily just with a needle and thread. It's harder to fix a zipper if it wrecks. Once you get fast at using buttons, it's almost as fast as using a zipper. Now I'm gonna show you another variation. In this case, I'm starting out with jeans and a dress shirt. Then I'm going to wear the coveralls over top. You can sort of mix and match um, these techniques. You can you don't have to wear the BDU shirt on top. You can just leave the coveralls. It, it depends on how warm or how cold your weather is and how you're feeling. If you want to be warmer or a little cooler. So now I have the coveralls over top. The jeans go into the boots and the coveralls go outside of the boots. This stops the snow from coming into the boots. Which is nice because you don't want to be walking through deeper snow and then you're, you got snow in your boots. That's very uncomfortable. Now I'm going to put the BDU shirt on top. So now I just have a dress shirt, uh, coveralls, and a BDU shirt. This is not much insulation, so I might use this if it were not as cold outside. So you get the idea. You just sort of mix and match clothes to get the result that you want. You sort of customize your layering according to the temperature outside and how and if you're feeling too cold or too warm. If you're feeling too warm then you then you take off a layer. If you're too feeling too cold you put on another layer. Now the BDU shirt is on top. Again this will it's 
you can move around very well in these clothes because they're all very loose fitting and they're very hard wearing. So if you're doing a, um, a job that where your nice clothes might get dirty, this is a, a good option. So now, now I'm flipping up the collars and this protects my neck from the cold. This is almost like having a neck warmer. So if you forgot your neck warmer, you can flip up all of the collars and it gives your neck some protection from the cold. You can also flip the collars down. Now I'm going to wear some safety glasses. So now I'm, I'm set to work and I can protect my eyes. Now I'm gonna do another variation. In this case, I'm feeling a little cold, so I'm going to wear a wool jacket underneath. This is basically felted wool and you, you can find something similar where you, where you live. So again, it has buttons and it has a collar. This is also army surplus clothing, but you don't have to use army surpl surplus clothing. There's also uh, just regular coats that you can use that are made of similar material. What's important is what the clothing is made of. In this case, I'm wearing a wool layer because wool is, works really well in cold weather. You could, you could wear a pullover, you could wear some other type of wool too, whatever you happen to have. So you're sort of adapting the clothing or the layering system to the clothing that you have. Now I'm gonna put the coveralls on top and now I'm a little bit warmer. I could stop here if I wanted to, if I'm feeling a little cold. I can add a BDU shirt on top. Now I'm flipping up the collars again to keep my neck warm. The shirt, the dress shirt collar, the wool jacket collar. And you can see they're standing up. Now when the wind is blowing, my neck is protected from all sides except from the front where it's, it's a little bit uh, exposed. This technique works in a pinch if I forgot to bring a neck warmer. And the nice thing about collars is they also don't snag on machines. Now I'm gonna wear the BDU shirt on top just for a bit of added insulation. It helps form a warm air bubble around my body and keeps me warm. That's really the point of a layering system is so that you have this customizable warm air bubble which forms around your body and keeps you warm. And you can adjust it by uh, taking off a layer or by adding a layer depending on if you're feeling too cold or too warm. Now I'm ready to work. I'm going to fold up the collars again. All the layers of collars and this keeps my neck warm. Now I'm ready to work. I can fold the collars down as well if I want to. And then I get a nicer look. I'm going to wear a wool hat on top. Wool works really well in the cold. You can also layer hats if you need to. Now I'm going to put on some leather welding gloves. These gloves are really good for working outside because they also protect your wrists and they're really tough. If you're feeling too hot, the first thing you do is you take off your hat. That usually helps you cool down quickly. Now I'm ready to work. Thanks for watching. Stay safe and have a great day.